Last time we met, you bested me. Taken down by one such as you. It was humiliation. I've had years to hone my skills since our last battle. After Cyrus and Rith's epic battle uh, in Infinity Blade 2, Rith you know, went away and really thought about the battle he had with Cyrus. And while he was happy that he finally found someone worthy to fight him, he was a little upset that he found someone who could actually best him in a duel. So he's been, he's been away crafting his skills, practicing every day, and he's back looking for another ultimate showdown with not just Cyrus, but with also Issa. Solar Trans weapons are back in the game. And these are some of the most rare and powerful items in Infinity Blade that are literally able to take the plasma from the sun and harness it into the power of a blade. Uh, and a blade that is very customizable to different gems that you slot in it that can change the color and powers of the blade itself. And now that Issa is in the mix, there's also some Solar Trans weapons for her as well. Uh, but the update's called Blade Masters for a reason. It's not just Rith, the Deathless Blade Master. We're also introducing a new Deathless Blade Master called the Collector. In one of the new quests in the update, you'll stumble across this ancient and mysterious Deathless Blade Master whose really only goal in existence is to collect the finest weapons ever crafted in the history of time. So he'll offer up to you a rare, amazing weapon that can only be won from the collector in the game. But the price, if you lose, is he takes your weapon from you permanently. And the only way to get it back is to beat him in a duel for your own weapon. One of the things I'm really excited about, though, are two new features that we are introducing in this update. One of which is called the Customize Menu. And within that menu, there's all sorts of new, cool options to really personalize and tweak your Cyrus and your Issa to be just the way that you want them. We've also added a new location in the hideout called the Training Bot. And we added this for newer players, but also for more advanced players really looking to hone their skills. We wanted somewhere in the game that you could quickly go and have a uh, an enemy that you could fight against that wouldn't do any damage to you and that you could really, really customize to teach you how to play Infinity Blade and to really practice your combos, your parrying angles, and all the different strategies uh, that you would bring to fighting enemies in Infinity Blade. We've also made some significant changes to the way Deathless Mode works. Uh, the first of which being you can now unlock the ability to master items to level 50, uh, which will significantly change the level caps within the game. We've also changed some of the core functionality of how Deathless Mode works. And one of the things I'm most excited about now is that every time you finish a Deathless quest, any item you have cooking, forging, or brewing within the hideout will instantly finish. So all things in the hideout that you have forging or in one of the slots will finish every time you complete a Deathless quest, which will really change the way that you can approach power leveling your characters. One of the questions that we're most asked is, how the heck do I get that treasure chest that's up on that balcony in Larioth? Well, now you can. In this update, Issa will now also be able to go to Larioth in the Explore quests. And we have a whole new path through the castle with Issa that will open up all sorts of new gameplay opportunities. The Infinity Blade Blade Masters update is available now and is free to anyone who's purchased Infinity Blade 3. And if you haven't had a chance to get Infinity Blade 3, it's on sale now. So what are you waiting for? Go get it!